A hysteroscopy is a minimally invasive procedure that allows a doctor to examine the inside of the womb using a thin tube with a light and camera at its end called a hysteroscope. The scope or tube is inserted through the vagina and cervix, enabling the doctor to observe the womb lining directly. There are two reasons for a hysteroscopy. It can be diagnostic, that is, it can identify the cause of a problem, or it can be used for treatment without actually having to cut into the skin or open up the womb. Many women hear the word hysteroscopy and wonder if it's related to a hysterectomy or even confuse it with another procedure known as a hysterosalpingogram. They all sound alike, so in this video, let's clear up the differences and talk about when you might need to have a hysteroscopy. Hi, I'm Dr. Sylvia, a general practitioner and health educator. Welcome to Ask Away Health. Well, a hysterectomy is a major surgery to remove the womb. It can be partial when part of the womb is removed or complete when the womb is totally removed. This procedure is irreversible and usually leads to the menstrual cycle stopping and leads to infertility. And as we've just said, a hysteroscopy focuses on examining or treating the inside of the womb cavity. The womb itself is left intact. In a hysterosalpingogram or HSG as it's also known, you have an X-ray imaging test where contrast dye is injected into the womb and fallopian tubes in order to check for blockages or structural abnormalities of these organs. So the HSG checks if the tubes are open and working correctly and looks at the shape of the womb but it doesn't allow for treatment. The hysteroscope has light and camera that allows you to visualize the womb, take pictures. You can take samples of the womb that you can go away and look at under a microscope to identify abnormalities. And this is why it can be used to both diagnose and treat womb issues. A hysteroscopy is often performed as a day case using painkillers or local anesthesia as needed. Most often, like with an HSG, you would usually be able to go home after a hysteroscopy. So now we've cleared up these three different terms, let us take a closer look at conditions where you may need to have a hysteroscopy. Feeling unwell or dreading the wait for a doctor's appointment? We get it. Life doesn't stop for health concerns and neither should you. Your GP consultation connects you to licensed healthcare professionals from the comfort of your own home. No waiting rooms, no hassle. Discuss symptoms, get advice or manage ongoing care all through secure video calls and chat. It's healthcare that fits your schedule. From hormonal balance to menstrual health, thyroid concerns or menopause care, our GPs are here to listen. Get personalized, discreet care that's tailored to your needs. Whether it's a minor illness or just a question that you've got, we're here to help you stay proactive about your health. Your GP consultation, because healthcare should work for you. Visit our website to book your consultation today. Okay, so the first procedure when you may need to have a hysteroscopy is if you have abnormal uterine bleeding. This may include experiencing unexplained heavy menstrual bleeding, having irregular cycles or bleeding in between periods. Any of these bleeding issues may suggest a host of different problems, for example, polyps or fibroids or um, endometrial thickening, that is thickening of the lining of the womb. Check out this video here where I talk about a range of different causes of abnormal heavy menstrual bleeding. The hysteroscopy, like we've said, allows us to directly visualize the womb lining so we can identify and sometimes treat this problem Next is postmenopausal bleeding. Any vaginal bleeding that happens after a woman has reached menopause requires prompt evaluation. A hysteroscopy can be one of the tests that can help us detect the possible causes of bleeding that happens after menopause. We may find things like an abnormality with the lining of the womb 
or polyps or cancer. The hysteroscopy will allow the specialist to examine the inside of the womb closely as well as take a biopsy or a small piece of tissue that they want to explore further. This biopsy will be closely examined under the microscope or undergo further tests to detect changes that may suggest cancer or other medical problems. Another condition that a hysteroscopy can come in useful for is with infertility. There are many causes of infertility. One of them is an abnormality of the womb structure. Things like adhesions or scar tissue within the womb, abnormal divisions or septums within the womb, or polyps can interfere with implantation and so fertility. So hysteroscopy can be useful in fertility workup or assessment to diagnose or correct these structural issues, improving the chances of pregnancy. Another condition where a hysteroscopy may come in useful is if someone has recurrent miscarriages. There are many different reasons for experiencing a miscarriage or having one recurrently. Check out this video here where I address some of these causes. But recurrent early pregnancy loss can also stem from some of these womb conditions like septum or adhesions or fibroids. Sometimes with a hysteroscopy, you can identify these problems and it may even guide future surgical treatment. There are other womb conditions that a hysteroscopy can also be useful to identify. For example, initial tests like an ultrasound or an MRI may reveal retained foreign objects like a retained coil or IUD or even retained placental tissue after delivery. A hysteroscopy can help to confirm that diagnosis and even allow treatment at the same time. So a hysteroscopy is a very useful procedure that is fairly straightforward, minimally invasive and allows very little downtime so that you can get back to your normal activities after the procedure in majority of cases. It's an approach that allows both diagnosis and treatment in a single step and possibly may reduce the risk of future additional surgery. Let me know in the comments section if you'd like to learn more about hysteroscopy or other procedures. And remember, always consult your own healthcare provider to determine if a specific procedure or treatment is suitable for you or your symptoms. If you want to reach out to me, check out the links in the description box below. I'll see you again soon. Feeling unwell or dreading the wait for a doctor's appointment? We get it. Life doesn't stop for health concerns and neither should you. Your GP consultation connects you to licensed healthcare professionals from the comfort of your own home. No waiting rooms, no hassle. Discuss symptoms, get advice or manage ongoing care all through secure video calls and chat. It's healthcare that fits your schedule. From hormonal balance to menstrual health, thyroid concerns or menopause care, our GPs are here to listen. Get personalized, discreet care that's tailored to your needs. Whether it's a minor illness or just a question that you've got, we're here to help you stay proactive about your health. Your GP consultation, because healthcare should work for you. Visit our website to book your consultation today. And remember, always consult your own medical provider to decide if a particular procedure or treatment will be suitable for you and your symptoms. Again, soon, bye.